So we know how the Roman engineers might have lifted their stone. But before that could have happened, before they could place a single block, they faced a major challenge. Right from the start, the emperor ordered that the Colosseum be built in the very heart of Rome. It was to be the centerpiece of a newly confident city. The problem was this. The chosen site sits in a floodplain surrounded by four hills. Over two feet of rain falls on Rome every year and it flows straight down. It's the last site an engineer would choose. It's a situation familiar to Steve Burroughs. I would not choose that site as the best site in which to build a stadium, but quite often as an engineer, you haven't got much choice in the location of a building. Uh, all you can do is try and figure out a way to uh, deal with the problems that you're faced with. So the Imperial engineers planned this building knowing that unless they did something, the area underneath the stage, called the Hypogeum, was bound to flood. This was a vital part of the building. The Hypogeum is the subterranean structure of an amphitheater. It's really sort of the guts of all the productions that took place on the floor of the amphitheater. In the Hypogeum, you have areas where scenery was placed, you also have cages for animals, you also have areas where the gladiators would rest. Everything that the spectators would not see took place within the Hypogeum. The challenge is to deliver all the components of a show without the audience thinking about how it happens. For that to work, the space beneath the stage must be big. And it can't be full of water. We know that the Colosseum was built in a natural bowl that had held water for centuries before this stadium was actually built. Under the arena floor, there is potential for water to gather and collect. So the very first stage of construction was to deal with this problem. Buried right in the foundations is a complex and ambitious drainage system. To those who dare, parts of it are still accessible. Now we are in front of one of the four water channels that we find in the Colosseum. After you. Okay, let's go. Clearly there's uh, still water flowing in here. So we're actually standing in a 2,000 year old drain that's still operating. Yes, still operating and it's joining with a modern one. So it's the new and old that join together and help to get the water out of the Colosseum. Well, they certainly knew how to build drainage systems. The Colosseum's four drains connect to a network which stretches all the way under the city. It travels for miles, emptying finally into Rome's river, the Tiber. And it carries more than water. The city's garbage and human waste makes its way down here, as does the blood from the arena floor the food scraps discarded by the baying crowd. These bones are more, most likely coming from the people that were making use of the Colosseum and looking at the shows with the gladiators here. So because of the lack of maintenance of this place, it was filled up with all kinds of debris coming from the Colosseum. So we think these are remnants of a meal of somebody who watched some action at the stadium with the gladiators here? Why not? It could be. <laughs> But there is far more than drains beneath the arena floor. This was a whole hidden world, packed with everything necessary to deliver the games. Steve wants to understand how it worked, but it is frustrating. So much is missing. When you actually walk around the space in the Hypogeum, you're in an enormous building space. Uh, but you don't actually see what was there originally. And the reason for that is, it's a little like an x-ray. You know, all you can see are the bones, all you can see are the primary structural walls. You can't see all the things that were once there that are now missing. Ancient accounts suggest that complex mechanical systems hauled scenery, animals and combatants up through the arena floor. At the Colosseum, all trace of this machinery has gone. But this isn't the only arena the Romans built. One does survive, preserved beneath a layer of protecting volcanic ash. Here, 
Steve will discover for himself the hidden technology that delivered death to the arena floor.